tonight on Hard Copy. The truth behind the headlines from across the country and around the world. They claim milk does a body good, but find out why some brands may be doing more harm than good. Up next, got milk? You may wish you didn't after tonight's hard target investigation exposes what's really in some of it. Milk is loaded with powerful growth hormones, hormones that should never be in the human body. Imagine a cow on crack cocaine. That's how author Robert Cohen describes something shot into millions of cows on American farms. We genetically engineer a hormone that produces more milk when we didn't need more milk. While Cohen admits calcium is good for you, he says leafy green vegetables have lots more calcium than milk. If you look at nature's perfect food, human breast milk, there are 33 milligrams of calcium per 100 gram portion. Potato chips have 40, beans have 50, chickpeas 150, uh, amarantha grain has 267. Cohen says dairy products are a poor source of calcium for another reason. Every scientist in the world knows that protein inhibits calcium absorption and milk is liquid meat. It's protein. What is in milk that you say is poisonous and why would the government be covering this up? Well, what's in milk? You're drinking body fluids from other animals. 60% of the cows in America have leukemia virus. 80% have something called paratuberculosis. You don't want to eat something with that name, paratuberculosis. You've got irritable bowel syndrome in America. That's what it causes. Four million American women have irritable bowel syndrome. You're talking about if your doctor said, I want you to eat today 53 slices of bacon because that cholesterol is good for you, you're eating from your dairy products the same cholesterol contained in 19,000 slices of bacon this year. By age 52, one million slices of bacon's worth of cholesterol. You don't want that in your body. A but real concern, though, you talk about the bovine growth hormone. Mm -hmm. Hormone is the big yeah. word here. There are 4,000 mammals. There are half a million different hormones. Only one hormone, this is the big secret the dairy industry doesn't want you to know, only one hormone is identical in all of nature between two animals. It's human and cow. It's the most powerful growth hormone in our body. Drink a 12-ounce glass of milk. Double the only hormone that makes breast cancer grow once you get it. I just assume it's milk. No, I don't. What's in the milk I'm drinking? What's in it? If you ask the author of this controversial new book, you may not want to hear the answer. The milk we're drinking is filled with fat. We know that. Cholesterol. We don't know it's filled with virus, bacteria, powerful growth hormones, proteins that cause a vast array of allergies in the human body. This is not nature's perfect food. In a book called Milk, the Deadly Poison, Robert Cohen attacks what's long been considered the perfect food, claiming it can be a dangerous brew of chemical, biological, and bacterial agents that may also contain a growth hormone he believes can trigger the growth of cancer. We know children come into puberty earlier in America. We don't know why. Every sip of milk they're drinking, in addition to this most powerful growth hormone, 59 different bioactive hormones. What nations have the highest rates of breast cancer in the world? I ask people, they say, eh, United States, uh-uh, Denmark, Norway, Holland, and Sweden. What nations have the highest rates of osteoporosis, crippling bone disease? Denmark, Norway, Holland, and Sweden. The dairy industry, every dairy farmer, and there are probably a few in the audience now, you know that for every 100 pounds of milk you produce, you got to pay 15 cents to the national fluid milk processors. Doesn't sound like a lot of money. What are they doing with that money? It's $500 million a year to paint milk mustaches on the, the lips of models. Robert, welcome to Two Year Health. Nice to be here. Mother says milk is good. What is this? Milk is no good. Let me tell you about milk. The number one protein in milk is casein, C-A-S-E-I-N. That's 80% of the protein in milk. That's the same glue they use to put a label on a bottle of beer. That's the same glue they use to hold your wooden furniture together. So we're drinking glue. You're drinking glue and you create so much mucus. This much casein, this much mucus. Okay, we're getting technical. <laughs> you're using a lot of chemicals. Yeah. What qualifies you to talk about these? Well, the greatest controversy in the history of the Food and Drug Administration was the genetic engineering of milk. I'm the only person in America to be invited to meet with a group of top scientists at FDA. I used to do research, $50 words, psychoneuroendocrinology, the study of brain and behavior, how hormones affect behavior. And I uncovered secrets. I opened up a Pandora's box of secrets that the dairy industry wishes had never had been opened. If milk is so bad, then how come everybody else is so wrong and so brainwashed that it's good for you? Well, they get calcium Ripken to pose for his milk mustache. Spike Lee, Spike Lee, you got... 500,000 kids in the New York area that have asthma, they're drinking this glue every day. Spike Lee, 95% of African Americans are lactose intolerant. How could he wear this milk mustache? 
This is a message. Money is spent by the dairy industry. If you're a doctor, you call their toll-free number, 800-Y-MILK. They'll send you $200 worth of free information. You call my toll-free number, 888-NOT-MILK. They'll get the truth. We're getting the message out as one voice to America. Milk does not do the body good. So, got milk? No. Not milk. Not milk. We have a phone number where people can reach you, mm -hmm. and what is that? It's uh, toll-free. It's 888-NOT-MILK. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you.